I'm Alessandra Barrett, Associate Director of Special Projects at the Journal of Commerce, and I'm at our 2022 Inland Distribution Conference with Nick Darman, founder and CEO of Alvis. Thanks for joining me today, Nick. Thanks for having me. The world, and specifically our industry, has seen a lot of change over the last few years. When it comes to technology, what breakthroughs do you wonder, do you see, needing to come into our space? What have we not experienced yet that we really need that's going to make a change? Well, we talk about uh, supply chain issues. Uh, Post-COVID, everyone understands supply chain is broken. As a result, a lot of the companies, a lot of tech companies have flooded this industry to uh, take advantage of it. Um, uh, many uh, tech companies have invested in different uh, standalone solutions, standalone products to help with either pricing or maybe uh, matching uh, truck capacity, so on and so forth. But one space that has really been overlooked is the carrier market, yet carriers is the most important node in supply chain. No one has done anything for the carrier. I believe one of the breakthroughs that has to happen in our space is to help the carriers alleviate the pain points they experience every day. When we achieve that, I think we're actually gonna help the supply chain in ways the world hasn't seen. So where's the knowledge gap? What is holding back progress from your uh, perspective? Well, I think um, uh, there's probably two main factors. Uh, first one is the fact that it's very difficult to bring the two school of thoughts, that's the proper engineers, as well as the operators that understand how to run a small to mid-sized carrier. Uh, what we see today, uh, they attract folks from mega carriers, folks from bigger logistics companies to solve some of the pain points smaller companies ex uh, experienced. But when you think about it, the workflows in a bigger company is very different than what it is in a small company. How can those that run bigger operations help the smaller guys, help the mid-sized uh, companies? I don't think it's possible. And then uh, on the flip side, how do you get the engineers to work with someone who's in the trenches, someone who doesn't have any idea about what's happening in the, in the technology world? So, so to combine those two is very difficult. And I feel the technology companies that figure out how to put those two together will probably create this breakthrough I'm talking about. So what's the scope of the problem that we're talking about here? Well, it's a managerial nightmare when it comes to getting uh, the load from bid status to pickup, to delivery. Then you have to invoice, bill, and pay the driver, all while keep track of safety and maintenance and compliance. You're dealing with a lot of touch points where people don't really have the right TMS tools uh, to execute everything within one platform. They constantly have to use sticky notes, spreadsheets, other softwares to, to complete their workflow end to end. So let's say, for example, uh, there's a company that's going to be able to execute these tasks twice as faster, right? And we, when you actually break down the numbers, uh, and, and, and we all talk about the industry being $800 billion uh, size. And if you take the $800 billion and divide by, uh, I would just assume right now, it's $1,000 a shipment. And if you divide $800 billion uh, by $1,000, that's going to give us about 800 million shipments a year. And if people are, are able to execute twice as faster per load, and I'm just gonna make an assumption that a regular uh, or an average employee costs about $20 an hour. That means we just save $10 per shipment. So if you multiply 800 million shipments by $10, that's giving us about $8 billion of savings just by using the proper tool. And that all goes back in the uh, supply chain ecosystem. But then when you take a, a step further and you actually dive in into these numbers, what does it really mean giving your employees a lot more time on their hand, right? So let's say, for example, a trucking company that has 100 trucks, 
they usually run about $30 million in revenue. And if their employees have 50% more time on their hands, what they will naturally do is actually build better loads, uh, book better loads. And I'm just gonna make another assumption. If they're able to create 10% better loads, uh, more expensive loads, that's, that's actually gonna help the carrier generate $3 million more than otherwise. That's a big deal when it comes to solving supply chain issues. Thanks for taking time to sit down with me today, Nick. Thank you. I've been speaking with Nick Darman, CEO and founder of Alvis.